Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I asked you the question, which is the better operating system between Windows 10 and Windows 11? And out of the more than 1,000 votes that were cast for this recent poll, as you can see, 64% of you said Windows 11 is better than Windows 10, which came in at 36%. So that's give or take a 30% difference between the two operating systems. Now, um, regarding this uh, poll, which is the better OS, um, I thought today for this video, uh, we could have a quick overview as to some of the key differences between Windows 10 and Windows 11, if you would be interested. Because although Windows 10 and Windows 11 at the heart and core and base of things and foundation of things are very similar, um, we obviously do get some different features and components which do differ differentiate the operating systems from each other. And um, this will by no means be a comprehensive list and is in no particular order. And I will give my personal opinion as to some of these features if you would be interested. Now starting with the user interface, Windows 11 with that, we obviously get uh, the the uh, more modern look and feel. We get the rounded corners, the fluent design. We also get support for mica and acrylic um, effect, which is not available over on Windows 10. And then we get the uh, centered start menu and taskbar, which um, although it can be moved to the left, um, is centered by default in the OS compared to Windows 10. Moving on to um, the taskbar, talking about the taskbar, um, for Windows 11, um, currently the taskbar can only be located at the bottom of the screen, um, unlike Windows 10 where the taskbar can be moved to the left, the top and the right. And this is actually a highly requested feature that Microsoft does roll out to um, Windows 11, being able to move the taskbar to different locations of the screen, which I actually hope Microsoft does roll out in future versions of Windows 11. Um, the system requirements, obviously this has caused a lot of debate over the last um, year or so since the release of Windows 11. And um, the minimum system requirements for Windows 11 are a 64-bit processor with two cores, four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. Um, for Windows 10, when it comes to a 64-bit processor, you need one with one gigahertz clock speed, two gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes of hard disk drive storage. Um, moving on to widgets. Now, for Windows 11, we get the um, widgets board, which uh, does have support to pin widgets uh, to the widgets board, where although um, Windows 10 does have a news and interest feed, um, it has no support currently for um, integrating widgets into the news and interest feed. Virtual desktops, both have virtual desktops, but um, Windows 11 has improved virtual desktops with improved snap layouts and new animations. Uh, touch controls have been improved for touch devices on Windows 11. And um, for Windows 11, we get increased spacing and better padding between different um, components, which does improve um, touch um, touch use on touch devices compared to the limited touch controls you get over on Windows 10. Gaming performance. Now, I don't do a lot of gaming, but I would say, although um, I don't do a lot of gaming, um, I have done a lot of research, I have posted a lot of videos, and I've also seen a lot of comments. Because of that, I do feel there is a similar gaming performance between Windows 10 and Windows 11. There's not much difference. And if you do disagree with me, just let me know down below in the comments. Moving on to the Microsoft Store. Um, the Microsoft Store is very similar on both operating systems. Although for Windows 11, um, we get the Amazon App Store Android app support, which is currently in preview uh, in select regions currently, uh, which is unavailable over on Windows 10. And then um, moving on to security. Now, this is a big one, and I think this has caused most probably the most debate and controversy. Um, when it comes to security, um, we get the dreaded TPM2 requirements, which I think single-handedly has prevented a lot of Windows 10 users from upgrading to um, Windows 11, and that stands for Trusted Platform Module 2, which is a security uh, requirement. And although there is similar security features between Windows 10 and Windows 11, the key difference there would be um, you need TPM2 to run Windows 11. Um, moving on to the Task Manager, we get similar um, basic functions in the Task Manager on both operating systems. But some of um, the key differences um, is that you have more details and options available over on Windows, uh, the Windows 11 Task um, Manager. And um, as you can see, you get a dark theme support. You can change that to light, use system settings, 
um, the system default setting. Uh, you get accent colors. You have the search at the top. So, this, so those are some of the improvements that have been made available over in the Windows um, 11 task manager. And uh, um, the file explorer. For Windows 11, you get a redesigned file explorer with a new layout and feature. So you get improvements to the navigation pane. You get more um, OneDrive integration. And of course, the big one here is that you do get the tab support now available um, over on Windows 11's file explorer, which is currently unavailable uh, in the um, the legacy or traditional file explorer over on Windows 10. And then the start menu, just moving back to the start menu, um, for Windows 11, um, a big one here is you are unable to resize um, the start menu, which you can do over on Windows 10. And this one, I personally hope Microsoft does roll out, being able to resize the Windows 11's start menu in the future. Uh, in the future, I do feel it would make a big difference to uh, the layout of the start menu in Windows 11. So um, you cannot resize the start menu in Windows 11. And also, you don't get live tiles in Windows, um, uh, the Windows 11 start menu, which obviously you do get over in the classic start menu in um, Windows 10. And then um, the second last one, um, automatic updates. Now, this is similar, but the key difference here, as I have mentioned previously, is that for Windows 11, uh, the download and installation of updates um, is very quick, I found, compared to Windows 10. So very similar update process. Although I do feel uh, Windows 11 updates um, are downloaded and installed a lot quicker compared to Windows 10. And then the last one, compatibility. We do get improved compatibility with new hardware and software for Windows 11 because obviously um, Windows 11 um, is a newer operating system which will support newer hardware and software, obviously. So that's just a quick overview as to some of the key differences. As I did mention, uh, um, not a comprehensive list and in no particular order. And that was just to um, finish off uh, that poll I did conduct last week, which is the better operating system with 64% of you saying Windows 11 um, is the better operating system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.